Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to install the S-Pod on my 2018 Tacoma. Yesterday we did the Cali Rays ditch lights. So today we're going to install the S-Pod, wire it up, and see what happens. The first step is to remove this fuse panel right here. It's uh, just a relay and fuse panel. There's uh, just a few clips. You can see some like crappy wiring from previous uh, jobs. I did the, um, the Mac Echo LED bed light strips install. Maybe I'll do a little review on that later, um, but I'm not going to get into it right now. And I don't think I'm going to wire it to the S-Pod just because I have a switch that's directly wired to the battery um, and the tailgate in the bed, actually. So, step one, just remove our fuse and relay panel here that we're going to drill. Here's three clips. <clears throat> here we go. All right, so the first step is read the directions. Basically, step one is remove the lid cover if you're going to drill it into the, uh, the fuse box under the hood. Step two, they give you um, the directions, obviously. So read these, as well as a little diagram here that you can kind of lay out over top of your fuse box and drill two holes. <laughs> I got it done. You can just see that uh, I drilled four holes. They called for 516, but I went a little bit smaller because the diameter of these posts are 516. So I wanted to sit up a little bit. And um, one important thing is don't over torque these bolts or these nuts or screws really, um, because it's just holding a circuit board. So uh, this isn't, you know, it doesn't need to be very strong. Just needs to be hold, held in place. I also popped the top off. You can see um, it's a really nice product. There's actually like little gussets here where you can run all your wiring in from the back side um, of it. So very, very, super awesome product um you pay for what you get really all right so the next step is to take the control cable which is really just cat5 uh, ethernet cable so pretty sweet and you just plug it into either one of those um nicks or not net not nick um let's call them a cat5 port it's not really a nick um or sfp for all those it people out there um but you just plug it in um i'm gonna do that in the truck try and get some photos of it, but it's probably not gonna happen. And then you take one end, plug it in there, the other end, feed it through your firewall and plug it in your S-Pod. That's pretty much it. Um, next, we'll get into the wiring of the ditch lights and we'll go right, Here's the final install. Here it is. Uh, I tried to get as much of the, well, I still need to do a little bit of tidying up, but it's not really that bad. The, um, there was a pile of slack in, so I just kind of coiled it up and stuck it back there. I did wire in the two Cali Rays ditch lights right there. Um, you can see the wiring coming through the bottom right there. So it does clean it up a lot. Um, would have been a lot nicer if the, uh, the battery um, terminal cables weren't so long. I'd really coil it up. Um, and it's not something, I mean, you could probably cut it, but. It's not my, not my cup of tea. All right, how I ran it was, I just ran it through the firewall. It comes up, uh, you can't really even see it, but there's the cable right there. Um, and I ran it through this trim piece right here, and I uh, used one of these little uh, trim removal tools to kind of pry back some of this weather strip in here. And then there's actually a really nice um, channel in there where it can, the cable can run. And just pop it out here. I'm just going to use an, a ram mount. So here's the S-Pod. It's on. It's actually very small. I was kind of surprised how small it is. Um, I just have a ram mount suction cup that I had from my older cell phone holder and I just stuck a ram ball on the back of it. Um, just a one inch uh, setup. It's pretty sweet. Um, the lights are on right now. You can, I'll, I'll customize this. I'll do probably another video of um, once I actually know how to do it. Watching. Here are the lights. There's one and the other. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, I'll see you next time.